Welcome to the Leader Chapters from Famous Novels. I'm Tommy. Today we're reading from The Martian. Deleted from the official log of Mark Watney. So, I'm probably fucked. Totally fucked. The oxygenator broke last night. Luckily it was an easy fix. Or it would have been if I hadn't had to wear the suit to do it. The hab keeps the oxygen in pretty well. That's its job after all, but it can only do so much for so long, and I wasn't taking any chances. Suffocating to death with a wrench in my hand and a bunch of spare parts around me doesn't sound like that much fun. So I fixed it, but it's really just a matter of time before it breaks again, or the water reclamator, or something that I can't fix that's supposed to keep me alive. I've decided to forget all that tonight though, so I've decided to do something a little off the wall. I wrote an episode of Three's Company, and I'm going to perform it. Don't hate me. I've got to do something to take my mind off of things. Obviously, I'm all alone, so I'm going to be playing all the parts. Okay, deep breath. Here we go. Interior. Apartment. Jack, Janet, and Chrissy sit on their couch. Jack. Chrissy, Janet, I can't believe that we're trapped in this apartment. Janet. Well... That was a big earthquake, Jack, and it threw a lot of rubble in front of our door. Chrissy. Plus, there's so much debris in the air that we couldn't even breathe out there anyway. Not unless we were wearing some kind of suit. Jack. It's a good thing Mr. Furley left his old beekeeper outfit. That way, if one of us needs to go outside, we can. Chrissy. But I don't want to go outside, Jack. I want to stay here with you. Janet. So do I. Jack looked from Janet to Chrissy. He saw the eager looks in their eyes. It had been so long since a woman had touched Jack. He could imagine how their hands would feel as they pulled his clothes off and ran over his naked body. This was it. This was his chance to be with both of them at the same time. All those years of waiting and flirting and sidelong glances and wanting and yearning. All of it would be satisfied tonight. Jack, what are you saying, girls? Janet, we're saying that we're hungry and we want you to make us some food. Jack, oh. Chrissy and Janet laughed. No, silly, we're saying we want to have sex with you, right now. Jack closed his eyes and silently cheered. When he opened them, Janet and Chrissy were gone. Of course they were. They were outside when the earthquake struck. He was alone, alone in the house. They had left him. Okay, so uh, so maybe that didn't take my mind off of things as much as I wanted it to. I'm going to bed. If anyone ever finds me, I'll have to figure out a way to delete some of these log entries. So uh, thanks for watching Deleted Chapters from Famous Novels. Uh, come back every Tuesday for more Deleted Chapters. Come back every Monday for Trump Explains Classics. And every Thursday for Dumpster Diving. Uh, why don't you like, uh, subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff with this video. Uh, you can check the description for our social media handles and other websites that you might want to, you know, take a look at and explore and read. Uh, thanks so much again for watching. See you next time.